On March 17th, Stanbridge had their seventh staff versus students basketball game. The game, like the others, was very intense, but it was fun for both staff and the Bodog players. The students won the game for the fourth time. The game began with staff and player introduction, as well as a moment in silence for Kyle, a senior basketball player who passed away this year. Highlights from the game include Teresa's backward layup, multiple passes made by a senior basketball player, a stellar performance by our interim head of school, Lori, a three-point shot by Jay, and incredible sportsmanship from both teams. After the game, everyone came back to campus. Mark passed out awards to the players who did an excellent job this season. I won the Sportsmanship Award, two juniors won the Most Improved Award, and a senior won the Bulldog Award. It feels really good, you know, just getting those way, those way ups and getting the rebound and being, say, okay, I'll go ahead and say um, aggressive for the ball. It feels good, and then to get recognized for that, it's like a dream come true for, for, for me. I just won the Most Improved Award, and I feel great. Ice cream cake was served to the players as a final thank you for a wonderful season. I interviewed some of the players to see what they thought of the game. It's disappointing. Uh, we threw everything that we had at them, and they just keep coming back, and uh, we'll get them next year. I have to admit I've got some mixed feelings, but they played an absolutely fantastic game, so I'm glad that they won. And we'll beat them next year. It feels great to win. I feel very excited when I shot the basket and made it into the hole. Pretty darn good, especially when I kept telling the art teachers that they were going to lose. We scored a lot of points, get a lot of rebounds, get a lot of passes. Oh boy, we did a good job in the art games. I've done this for two years, and we've won those two years that I've been here. And Every year is just another accomplishment, and I really enjoy this. Can't wait to take it back to Stanbridge. We deserve it, 100%. I know the staff and students had a blast at the game. See you next time on Stanbridge Student News. On March 14th, elementary students made leprechaun traps. We are painting leprechaun traps. These are cardboard boxes painted completely green. Then, on March 17th, St. Patrick's Day, they were set up in Kim's classroom. When the students came back from recess, they saw that Kim's classroom had indeed been visited by leprechauns, who left green tracks on the walls and made a big mess in the room. They left a pot of gold-wrapped candy, but they were smart enough to avoid getting trapped. The leprechaun left gift for us. You are clever, but try again next year. This is an elementary tradition across many schools. Here's what Kim had to say about it. The kids made little boxes and painted them green to tr in hopes to try to trap some leprechauns on St. Patrick's Day. Um, it's a tradition that fell back when I was in elementary school. Um, the leprechauns would visit us each year and we thought we might try have the kids build a leprechaun trap and see if the leprechauns visit Stanbridge this year. Sounds like the kids had fun. See you next time on Stanbridge Student News. On March 14th, Stanbridge celebrated Pi Day, a mathematical holiday named after the number 3.14, or Pi. During lunch, the senior Bridges class and Mary Hurlbut passed out various pies that they made to the high school students. Junior high teacher Calvin made a pie with his class, while middle elementary proved Pi to be correct with various creative hands-on projects. I interviewed students and teachers to get a better idea about this irrational celebration. What was your favorite part about Pi Day? I don't know, I guess making pies, since that's pretty much how everyone celebrates the day. For Pi Day, we got to have pie for high school, and, at, and then at lunch, and there were a lot of different types of pies. For Pi Day, everyone in my class found a circular object, which they then measured with a measured the exact circumference of with a string and then figured out how many times the string would cross um, the diameter and found indeed that it was just about three times plus a little bit more that each that the um, the string was able to go across so they proved that the pie theory was correct what we did first was we uh, looked at uh, brain pop 
uh, Tim and Moe describing what uh, the symbol pi means, right, uh, for math. And then uh, they answered a quiz uh, from Brain Pop. Uh, then we went about and uh, carved up the pies and share uh, among our students. So, uh, and so everybody, I think, had a good time. And at least they, they liked the pie. When you learn about pie by eating pie, you begin to appreciate the concept much more. I will see you soon on Stanford Student News. This year's yearbook theme is Dive Deep and Explore More. Camille, the art teacher, asked students to design a front and a back cover for the annual yearbook on the template she created. There were a lot of amazing entries this year for the junior high and high school. First, teachers, staff, and students in yearbook club voted for their first designs after school on Thursday, February 11th. Then the top five designs were displayed in Taylor Hall, and everyone established voted for their top choice of Friday, February 12th. This year, a sophomore student's theme won Dive Deep, Explore More. So we had 30 entries from high school students and junior high students. All of the designs do get to be in the yearbook itself, but one will be the cover. The design was the most most will be printed on the yearbook, which will be passed out to students near the end of the school year. The theme for the yearbook cover was dive deep, explore more, so I decided to draw a kraken, which Hitch is a, Hitch is, is a is basically a giant sea monster. Yeah. The back is basically a yellow submarine. Yes, it's a Beatles reference. And underwater, a hutter being attacked by said kraken while a giant shark swims above of it. I love giant monsters and stuff, so, oh, you know, I, I felt the Kraken would just be, you know, a cool way to merge both my interests and the theme itself, and, and I'm a big fan of classic rock, so that's why I drew the Yellow Submarine. Good work to everyone who entered the uh, design, and congratulations, Jace, for winning the contest. On March 11th, a small group of interested high school students with Mary Hurlbut visited the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, or the SPCA, in Burlingame. They toured the animal shelter to learn about the program and its cause. They saw cute bunnies, lizards, dogs, and cats. Some enthusiastic dogs tried to interact with the students through the glass doors of their enclosures. Soon, these eager students will be able to go to an orientation and volunteer at the animal center by themselves or as a small group. What is the trip for? Would have more places to volunteer and experience, <laughs> see what we're interested in. It was a possum experience. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time on Stanford Student News. Every year in the spring, Stanford has a talent show in the Maryland Lynch Center. Students from elementary to high school audition to be in the talent show during the week of February 29th. Performances include jokes told by elementary students, choreographed dance to Take Me to Church by a senior, a singing performance of Taylor Swift's Blank Space by a junior, a piano performance of Bohemian Rhapsody by a fourth grade student, an electric guitar performance by an eighth grader of his original composition entitled Rocking Fender, and a hilarious teacher skit. The talent show is a great way for students to work together and show their hidden talents to friends and family. I interviewed Jay, Maggie, and some students about the talent show. Here's what they had to say. It was amazing, you know. The audience was cheering on for me while I was telling my jokes. What kind of car does I drive? What? A Toyota! <laughs> I mean, joke. I enjoyed doing my jokes. And it was pretty awesome. What does a nosy pepper do? the audience enjoyed my jokes. What do you call a pig that knows karate? Pork chops. <laughs> what I like most about 
The talent show is seeing everybody come together. I like seeing parents. Um, there's food, there were cookies, those were nice. Um, I liked working on my own skit as part of the larger teacher skit. I liked uh, being the MC. I thought it was fun because the audience uh, uh, really uh, liked how I was uh, doing it and I like doing things like public speaking so I enjoyed being MC. Now I would tell an eye joke, but that would be cornea. I think it was in the early 2000s that my last group of Girl Scouts started the talent show and the reason they did was because there was a performing arts badge that had a, you know, one of those um, three-pronged jester hats mm -hmm. and everybody wanted that everybody wanted that badge to put on their sash so um, so we decided that a talent show would be a way that they could get that performance badge but at the same time they could also get a badge for um, creating something so they created a this talent show and it was a fabulous thing and it it has just blossomed since Jay took it over so it's an amazing thing uh, nights and weekends I am a performer so I perform comedy on stage and well I want to kind of bring that professional uh, eye to our talent show Maggie did a wonderful job and she had a very inclusive wonderful show but I wanted to take the knowledge that I've gain from my performing experience and bring it to the talent show. So, I did. Thank you, Maggie. <laughs> Thanks for watching Sandwich Joint News.